I am Dr. Arun Jyoti Matayas, Department of Microbiology, Maharani Science College for Women. Nanoparticles are used to develop a technology known as nanotechnology. The particles of small size in nanometers are nanoparticles. These small particles have applications in biology, applications in biotechnology. So there is a conglomeration of nanobiotechnology. Most important application is in medicine. The nanoparticles are used to diagnose a disease, to image a diseased organ and also to deliver drug to the target. For example, to locate a cancer in the prostate organ or in the breast and to image it, nanoparticles can be injected into the person which goes and binds to the antigen. The antigen will fluoresce when the person is subjected with MRI scan or ultraviolet radiation. So you can locate the cancerous part or the tumor accurately. In the same way, instead of indiscriminately killing all the cells of the body, the good as well as cancerous cells, the nanoparticles can be used to take the drug to the target. So amphotericin B for fungal infections or the antibiotics for the bacterial infections, the corrected gene as gene therapy or the drug for a cancerous disease can be passed into the body through nanoparticles. The dendrimers or the liposomes or the SLNs can be used as drug delivery systems. These drug delivery systems will take the drug load and because they have molecules which are attracted towards the antigen, they go and bind to the cancerous cells and they don't bind to the good cells. The drug load is delivered to the cancerous cells and then the tumor will be dissolved. So there is a lot of application in medicine for the nanoparticles.